Procter & Gamble has a long history of innovation. It serves about 5 billion consumers with personal care and consumer care products globally. We have a long, long history of innovation in the personal and care space. We've been working on animal alternatives since the 1970s. In the environmental safety area, this is a relatively new question, one that really began to form in its present shape around the 2000s. This is now a consumer need. It's a societal desire, and we've invested very, very significantly in trying to devise assays that can address these questions. Safety is at the heart of everything we do. Safety is really three parts. It's objective safety, it's perceived safety, and it's regulatory safety. And we do our best to make sure that we are advancing the science and that we're being transparent and we're being good communicators with the science so we can assure the public that we're doing our best and that we really understand the compounds and the risks associated with them. The consumer expect our products to be safe and we also must make them safe for the environment as well. P&G has a long and storied history in really advancing the field of environmental safety and risk assessment and I've been drawn to really practical applications of trying to advance the science. We build the basic foundational science to advance this work. Procter & Gamble works with scientists from academia, across industry, and scientists with, within government as well. This so-called tripartite approach is fundamental to making progress in defining what safe means and the data behind making safety determinations. Over the years, my work with Procter & Gamble has been in a variety of areas. We started out in the mid-90s working on different experimental techniques and experimental designs to provide better testing for effluents and chemicals. And then through the 2000s, we've worked with PNG on better experimental designs, better tests. In the effort to be more sustainable and to reduce animal needs for testing, this is something that we all have to work with together. This isn't just something that PNG does on its own. This is a partnership with government, with academia, with other industries, in order to understand the science that's needed to replace animal tests. But we can't do this in a vacuum. We need to have our tripartite partnership in order to make sure that we are developing a robust environmental safety assessment and that what we are developing is something that everyone agrees is safe and is repeatable and is reliable. It doesn't mean a lot coming from just me. It means a lot more coming from our regulator partners and coming from our academic partners as well. We have always been interested in devising assays that are more informative than the ones that we presently use. And in animal alternatives research, this is no different. The fish embryo test, or FET, is an animal replacement assay. It uses developmental endpoints that are tied directly to whether the fish will survive later on as a juvenile in development. P&G uses alternative methods like the fish embryo toxicity test to understand the environmental hazard of compounds. We can use this test and the results from it in order to guide business development and make sure that we are moving towards a more sustainable and safe space. And we can also use this information in our product registration and environmental risk assessments. The future of animal alternative assays is actually very exciting. There are many things that are on the horizon that will improve what we can do for predicting environmental safety. With fish and animal alternatives, with people in Procter & Gamble and HESI and other organizations, really I think has done a lot to help the world understand how to do assessments and protect the environment in an ethical and meaningful way that provides safety and science-based decisions on how to do work in the environment. We're often um, sought after for our ability to partner with our analytical capabilities. People will think of P&G and say, I want to collaborate with P&G because they have world-class toxicologists and they have this incredible chemistry associates that they can work with as well. And they're just right down the hall from us. So when we're developing a test, I can have those conversations with chemists and then we can have the conversations from the testing side of things. And together we can work to build a phenomenal testing strategy that leads to robust data generation for our risk assessments. If not for CTAC and its tripartite relationships with government, academia, and industry, we would be in very different place than we are right now. 
My collaboration with partners in industry and in government have really helped the environment in meaningful ways. We can do so much more together than we can alone, and for sure, SeaTac has been an instrumental part of shaping environmental safety sciences today. We consider ourselves leaders in the field, and we continue to work to help shape the right ways to answer the most important questions.